Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling an intriguing question from one of our viewers. Why does SD Unique PTR not have a const get method? This question dives into the design choices behind Unique PTR and its behavior in C++. Our viewer wonders why the specification didn't include a const variant of the get method, which would allow for a const T pointer. They suspect it might be to mirror raw pointers, but they're also looking for clarity on how to manage pointers in a const-like manner within their classes. Let's explore this topic together and uncover the reasoning behind these design decisions. All right, guys, welcome back to another tech video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Now, don't forget to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you'll get to that resolution. Anyway, on to the video. Cheers. Let's explore why Stead Unique PTR does not have a const get method. The Unique PTR is designed to manage a resource, specifically a pointer, and it behaves similarly to a raw pointer. The absence of a const get method aligns with the design philosophy of Unique PTR. It is intended to provide ownership semantics, meaning it can transfer ownership of the resource it manages. If you need to hold a pointer in a const-like fashion, consider using stead shared PTR or stead weak PTR. These smart pointers can provide shared ownership and allow for const access. In your case, to protect against misuse in a const context, you might want to use a const reference or a different smart pointer that fits your needs better. Finally, remember that const correctness is crucial in C++. Always ensure that your design choices align with the intended use of your classes and pointers. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. Sested Unique PTR doesn't have a const get method because it doesn't make sense to provide read-only access. You use Unique PTR to transfer ownership. For read-only access, you can use up.get and pass a const t-pointer to the function. If the pointer is guaranteed to be non-null, you can dereference it and pass a const reference instead. This approach also allows compatibility with stack objects or other smart pointers. For more details on passing unique PTR parameters, check out the discussion linked below. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. The reason Stead Unique PTR doesn't have a const get method is that the constness of a pointer is different from the constness of what it points to. When you dereference a T const, you get a TN, not a T const N. The get method is const, meaning it doesn't change the unique PTR state but it doesn't affect the constness of the pointed to content either. While there are smart pointers that propagate constness, Stid Unique PR is not one of them. If you need const propagation, consider using Stid Experimental Propagate Const, which allows const to travel through pointer like objects. However, often when trying to propagate constness, you might find it's unnecessary.
In general, to handle a T-const in a const manner, it's better to pass a T-const M or a nullable T-const string. This approach is more straightforward and avoids complications with const propagation. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. The user raises a valid concern about SD unique PTR not having a const get method. They suggest that there should be two versions of the get function, one for const access and one for non-const access. They explain that the purpose of a const get method is to help replace raw pointer usage. However, since unique PTR represents ownership, allowing modification through a const reference is problematic. The user proposes that a better solution would be for the standard library to provide a new version of unique PTR that follows this ownership principle or to create a derived class with both versions of the get method. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. The reason Stested Unique PTR doesn't have a const get method is that retrieving the internal raw pointer is considered a const operation. Calling get doesn't change the unique PTR's state. The designers chose not to enforce constness on the pointer it manages, allowing non-const operations on the underlying object. Interestingly, you can still call non-const member functions on the unique PTR inside a const object. This means the const promise doesn't fully apply to what the unique PTR points to. You might expect unique PTR to enforce constness more strictly, but the library designers opted for a shallower const promise, allowing flexibility in how you interact with the underlying object. And that's it guys. I hope those questions and answers really helped solve that solution for you. If it did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Now, until you need next technical video, I'll be here. Have a good one.